सो लेट्स इनिशियलाइज आवर प्रोजेक्ट फर्स्ट आई विल क्रिएट अ रिपोजिटरी कॉल्ड माई एन एफ टी मार्केट प्लेस I'll add a description. It is a T market place to sell, buy, uh, NFT. Okay. So I will create an NFT. Okay. Copy this. Okay, Visual Studio Code. Printing will be in next JS. We will use Solidity for Ethereum blockchain development. So I will create JS next. Let it get installed. Okay, this is there. Uh, I'll just get inside this my. Okay, let's see the product uh, project structure. Node modules is there. Pages is for the development of the page, front end pages. Style is there. Styling we will do with Tails one because it's a much better option. Okay. This is there. Now we need to add certain dependencies in this. So I'll show you the dependencies actually. We will install ethers. Uh, so let's see what are the dependencies. Uh, we will install it. First is ethers. Ethers is used for the Crypto wallet implementation, like to connect our wallet, like MetaMask, to our project. It is used for connecting our Ethereum node. Uh, API connection. API connection is something if you want to access blockchain outside of the blockchain, you can use it. Then hard hat is there. Hard hat is basically provide us the environment or the platform to develop our the app application locally in local environment it gives us uh, fake accounts with private keys and fake ether to for the local development Comic Club uh, or hard tag open is something which is used for writing the test cases to check that the smart contracts are running fine or not uh, 
Ethereum wallet pocket is also used for the same to develop the Ethereum test cases. Chai is for the test platform. The three model is for connecting multiple platform like there are multiple wallets uh, and the network we can connect to our local environment. So three helps us that. For that open sector, since we are working for NFT, we will be using certain Ethereum programs. Uh, in our case, it is ERC721. So, this sequence has an inbuilt library which help us, you know, to use the functions, already built functions to convert our object to that token. So, we will use that. IPFS HTTP client is a very interesting concept. It's a peer to peer. It's a peer to peer uh, internet. So what happens is that when you download any code from the internet, you go for the location search. That is, you search the place where this photo is downloaded there can be a chance that you are not able to download that photo so multiple copies of the same photo can be done okay but in ipfs what happens you don't look at the location but the content you go and ask ki, okay every photo or file has a unique hash called a fingerprint hash and you say i want to have the this file hash so it will be only one hash and someone in the pair will give you that hash and you will own that photo. Basically in like web 2 you don't own that photo what you download from the internet. But IPFS HTTP client you will own that photo. So this is something which will help us to convert our files which we own uh, files to NFT token to NFT like uh, convert it to a unique hash okay so that it won't be able to like it can't be copied xios is an inbuilt library next is a vijs to make an api call so these will be the dependency we will be we will install in our application so i'll just copy paste this sequence has an inbuilt library which help us you know to 
use the functions already built functions to convert our object to that token so we will use that ipfs http client is a very interesting concept it's a peer to peer it's a peer to peer uh, internet so what happens is that when you download any code from the internet you go for the location search that is you search the place where this photo is downloaded there can be a chance that you are not able to download that photo so multiple copies of the same photo can be done okay but in ipfs what happens you don't look at the location but the content you go and ask ki okay every photo or file has a unique hash called a fingerprint hash and you say i want to have the this file hash so it will be only one hash and someone in the peer will give you that hash and you will own that photo basically in like web to you don't own that photo what you download from the internet but ipfs http client you will own that photo so this is something which will help us to convert our files which we know files to nft token to nft like uh, convert it to a unique hash okay so that it won't be able to like it can't be copied xios is a inbuilt library next is a reactors to make an api call so these will be the dependency we will be we will install in our application so i'll just copy paste this after downloading or installing all the dependency let's see what we have uh, 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 uh. but before doing that let's you know install this tailwind also okay It'll be much more helpful CSS file and a tails with config file in the content we will add the pages okay this is done then these are the dependency which will be imported in global styles Okay, I'll just remove everything from here and add all these things. Okay, this is done. Then let's do this npx r hat, which will create our. Okay, uh, this is used to do the. Uh, this is used to create a sample project. So what I want, I want a sample project. The last where, uh, yes, I want it here in my NFT only. Yes. Okay. 
already has read me. I'll delete this. that configuration is done in config file basically we will add the network where we want to add oh, then we have test to write our test cases to check whether our contract is working fine or not we have scripts to dip when we want to deploy our application uh, ethereum application to localhost we'll use this scripts we have contracts to write our solidity code that config file so to configure our network first i'll remove all these things which is not required in export i'll do net oh sorry default network I will name it hard hat uh, so whenever uh, our application is locally deployed it will take hard hat then I will create an object called networks okay it will take the name uh, it will again contain the object suppose my network is a hard hat network hard hat so I'll give a chain I will give them my network information here I'll give a chain ID which is same like similar for everyone like for local we always use chain ID 1337 and suppose I need to add another network like polygon or like, uh, so I can just write the name like polygon write the URL whatever the URL I want to give or oh, my chain ID whatever the information of the network I am required but since we are locally deploying it so we will use this one only so this is how we configure our hard hat configuration and that's how we will configure our application this is the whole process.